Hi there and welcome to my channel. Today's project is for the BK Booting Design Team and this entire week we have been working with the March sketch that is available at the BK Booting community page on Facebook. Thank you to Yana who provided the sketch for us to play this month and you're going to see it's a super fun sketch and for once I'm going to stay very true to it. I'm going to add some things and move some things around but pretty much it's going to look a lot like what it looks on the sketch. So first thing, I'm going to give you a little bit of story what inspired this layout. I first, I had a hard time picking pictures and I finally decided for the ones of my two kids. So it talks all about um, what my kids are when it comes to pictures. They're not fans of pictures or teenagers. And also the color that inspired this are two things. The iridescent glaze. I love the opal look of it, the iridescency, the holographic look of it. And this sky paper, I think it's called looking up. So a combination of all those is what I'm going to translate into this piece. So first thing I'm going to do is create the background for it. And what I did off camera is that I'm working with a pre yeso foundation paper and I drew a triangle right at the center of the page that measure six in base and four and a half inches in height. So think of a triangle and that's pretty much what it looks like. You're going to see it when I'm adding the next media. And I'm using Vicky's... Um, watercolor markers the ones that just got released and i wanted to create a tealish color this paper that you see right now is um the one that looks like the sky has like a teal tone kind of bluish on the background on the sky so i'm going to pick up some of the tones for my background so what i use is mint julep blue hawaiian and blueberry pie i mix them together with a little bit of water to give me the tones that i want and again if you're using the watercolor markers you're going to need very little of it because it's super concentrated pigment so a little bit's going to go a long way once i make the three colors on my little piece of acrylic i'm going to add some water and then just going to add it to my page kind of forming the triangle and a little bit of the area where the pictures are going to sit and all i'm doing is adding a little bit of water to the page and then adding the pigment and kind of moving it around to create the background that I have in mind. Now, once I have that in place, I'm gonna set it aside to dry for a little bit. And while that was drying, I really love the fact that this paper has a little bit of purple in it. If you see it, it goes from the teal and at the bottom of the clouds turn into purple. So I wanted to bring some of it into the layer. Now, it was really hard to get to the purple, so I kind of give up a little bit. And my choice was to create some sort of if you see the sketch has these stars that are popping out so my idea is to create embellishments that have the that the tone of purple to um for the layout and one of the reasons too that i added purple is if you look at the iridescent glaze when it shines it takes these tones of purple and pink so i'm gonna use that idea to create this embellishment and all i'm doing is i diluted a little bit of the purple Water mar uh, watercolor marker and a little bit of the fuchsia one with some water and I'm just going to braid onto a piece of foundation paper. I haven't guessed to this foundation paper. I had a leftover from a previous project. So I'm just going to braid it and I'm loving the fact that there's strikes and everything on it. Love that. Now I'm going to bring a little bit of the teal tone. So you're going to see that I'm going to mix a little bit of the mint julep with um, the blue Hawaiian just to bring me a little bit of those teal tones and I'm going to again braid it onto the purple and you're gonna see that it's gonna mix some of the color but it's gonna come um it's gonna give me the tones that i see on the iridescent glaze and i'm gonna set it aside to dry while that is drying and this is a two-day process i just work little segments within two days so while that was drying i went back onto the layout and i wanted to add some of the iridescent glaze uh, to the background so you're gonna see that i'm gonna bring one of the new stencils and i'm gonna add the piece right behind where the pictures are going to be seated so think of that rectangular piece at the bottom uh, sorry area at the bottom now because this glaze has like this big um, flex of glitter in it it's not going to give you one a perfect um impression and second the glitter it's not going to stick prop so what i did is i'm gonna again add my glitter as usual just running it with the palette knife but this is one of the biggest palette knife you want to pick one up it's so easy to work with it and then I took my time to get with the palette knife those big flecks of glitter and kind of add it to the little places where the impression was at. One thing you gotta keep in mind is you gotta make sure you wash your um your palette knife 
in your stencil right away you get rid of all that um of all the extra glaze that's left behind because uh, it dries really fast so one and i set it aside to dry until i clean everything it dries really fast so i was able to come back and have a take a look at the layout and i realized that i needed to accent more of the color and one of the things you're going to see me do is i'm going to use these three colors that i mentioned before mint julep blue hawaiian and blueberry pie but i'm going to add a little bit more blue this time around because when you look at the same paper in the 12 by 12 uh, version the paper pad it tends to be a little bit more blue so i'm just going to bring a little bit of the extra blue to the background and then i'm going to set it aside to dry and again this is the next day just uh early in the morning so what i'm going to do right now once everything is dried is i'm going to start working on the background for this layer and i'm going to start by creating that little triangle part of the layer and again like i said this is a great sketch because you can do so much with it and you can use pattern paper if you want to if you don't want to use mixed media you can use vicky's pre-made mixed media paper pad it would be great for this but my choice or you can use um so many things and you can see in the sketch that it shows a big triangle of pattern paper my choice was to keep the triangular shape by add multiple paper and for this i'm going to kind of create chevrons with the shape of the leaf so like i mentioned before my triangle is uh six inches in base and four and a half inches in height so i'm going to kind of draw it onto the 12 by 12 uh paper from the paper pad that has the sky look and like the one that has like i said it has a tone of blue so i'm going to draw my triangle onto it cut it out of it and then kind of place it there once i have there i'm going to measure i'm going to say three quarters of an inch um, from each one of the corners of the v and kind of create the first chevron so you're going to see that i'm going to measure the three quarters of an inch and then just run the line towards the center and where the two lines meet that's when i create my chevron i'm just going to cut it and then i'm going to use um a removable tape to glue it onto the layer because i'm going to take it off camera to make sure that i secure it using my sewing machine now the leftover little triangle that i have from this um chevron i'm going to use to create the next uh, chevron in this case and for this i pulled this paper that has all the circles and i love the paper because it color it kind of has all the colors that i have the teals and the blues but i don't want to use the red or the salmon so i had to play a little bit with the position of the triangle so that when i cut my chevron i would not be picking the red of the salmon you're gonna see that again i'm gonna use the little triangle that was left over from the first chevron to cut the second triangle and once again i'm gonna go ahead and measure around a three quarter of an inch or i think it's a, yeah around three quarters of an inch from the vertices of the triangle just to create my little v or my chevron and then again i'm gonna glue it in place now for and then i'm gonna go ahead again and cut a third triangle but this time around i'm gonna use the six by eight paper pad and i want to pull that sky paper because like i said before in the six by eight uh, paper pad this uh sky paper looks teal compared to the 12 by 12 paper pad when it looks blue and then i'm going to take it off camera and just stitch it on my sewing machine you're going to see that i'm cutting little notches to the inside of the chevron just because i want to kind of fold the edges up a little bit and i don't want to read the paper so my choice is to cut just a tiny little bit of a slit just to make sure that i can do that now i'm gonna set it aside for a little bit and work on the embellishment and for this i am actually gonna emboss with pearl powder the sunburst um stamps from the circle stamp and i set from vicky's uh release and my idea for this is once i wanted to bring some pearl i want to continue with the holographic look the iridescent look of the paste and second one because it reminded me of flash like um camera flashes and because it's all about my kids idea of not smiling for the camera i thought it was going to be perfect and i'm going to use him in place of the stars that are in the um the sketch you're going to see right now and i took it off camera and i just used the die the coordinating die to cut the circles now going back to the layout you're going to see that I'm using the same papers that I created the chevron to actually layer and back the picture. Now, the, this time around, I chose to cut the area of the paper that had the purple 
because I want to bring some of that to marry all these circles that I have in place too. And I'm also going to add a piece of the vellum, the holographic vellum behind it, just to bring more of the shine. I wish you can see this on camera. I love the shine of this, uh, of the iridescent glaze. It's amazing. I swear, it's so amazing. So all I'm doing is, once I have layered all the papers behind the pictures, I'm adding a little bit of home adhesive behind them, just different heights, because I want to make sure that the one that is going to go in this case, at the on the bottom or the lower level, in this case, it's going to be not as high as the other one. So I use different height or different width of foam adhesive to create a little bit of dimension. And I added glue behind it just to make sure that it holds onto the page. So I put a little bit of weight to just make sure that it stays still. Now, to create the title, I had so many ideas, but I love the fact that I found the perfect a title in that puffy sticker that said, Oh, snap. And I thought it pretty much describe this uh, picture. And that's my kid's idea of smiling for the camera. They're teenagers, they don't wanna see me taking pictures of them all the time. So when I say, you know what, let's take a picture, it's the last day of March break and they cover their faces. I actually kept them, they thought I was gonna erase it. I kept them. It's the second layout that I have created. The first one is actually the one that's gonna stay with me. This layout is the one that's gonna go with my son. And I will create another one that will go into my daughter's album in the future. So. Again, a perfect title. And now all I'm doing is I'm bringing all those um, circles that I created with the purple paper and the stamp set. And I'm just gonna layer them in the places where I see the stars. I'm gonna kind of move them around. You're gonna see that I cut some of them because my eye decided to you know, um, insert it in between the chevrons just to create the illusion of movement. And you're gonna see that after that is gonna come to embellishing. I'm gonna stay true to the colors that I use. I'm gonna use a lot of teals on the embellishment. I'm gonna use a lot of black and white. You're gonna see that I'm gonna bring this little heart that is kind of uh, purplish pink, but I think it's gonna pick the color of the iridescent glaze. Now, a lot of the glaze gets hidden, but still a little bit is gonna go a long way. It's gonna be hard to look at it in the pictures. So I try to, when you're gonna see at the end, when you're gonna see the close ups, that I try to take pictures when the sun was hitting just to show you how beautiful it is. Now, once I set the pictures in place, I am actually realizing that I need, I don't wanna keep all the whiteness at the bottom, even though I love white space, I wanna bring kind of another um, little accent at the bottom just to create my triangle. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna bring a little bit of the same tones that I used to create my mixed media on the top, just to create a little cluster at the bottom. And then I'm actually also, take advantage of the same color just to add a little bit more of the finishing. There's some areas of the little place on the background where I put the pictures that had no mixed media. So I'm just gonna cheat a little bit and add a little bit of the color underneath the picture. Now, once it's said, you're gonna see that I'm actually gonna use the washi tape. And these are two pieces of washi tape and one of the chipboard stickers. I'm actually also using one of the stamp circles and I'm just gonna kind of create a cluster using the same idea what I have. I'm adding my camera there. I'm adding black and white accents. I'm gonna add a round uh, circle. Um, I think it's the one that has the little arrow just cause I have all those circles in place. I'm gonna bring a little bit more of those holographic chipboard uh, stickers just cause I wanna, like I said, I wanna repeat the elements. I want everything to look cohesive in this layer. And once that's in place, I am gonna go ahead and add my lines of journal. So I'm gonna add my lines with journal right underneath the two pictures. We just talked about like how foolish they are taking these pictures, even though at the same time it's kind of cute. And that's pretty much it. Now, because the picture, oh sorry, the sketch had a lot of splatters, and you guys know that I love splatters. I'm gonna bring a little bit of the blue uh, mixed with teals, like really dark teal, looks almost blue, and just add splatters all over the page. And that's about it. Super simple. Love how this turned out love it honestly love 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 how this turned out and i hope you try it don't forget to join our, or visit the vicky Boutin community page where you can find the sketch while yana and lian have worked with this sketch and you're gonna love it and if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me and i cannot wait to see what you're doing with uh vicky's new collection thank you so much for joining me today take care guys